here we have a, I'm going to do a blood type test on myself. So here we have a card that already has on it, it's got four little circles here, and each of these circles has an antibody to a particular antigen that is found on uh, my blood, so or your blood. So it's a uh, test to see if you've got the particular antigen. So this one says anti-A, which means it'll test for the A antigen. If I have A type blood, this one will show a reaction. This one says B, that one says D. D is actually the RH group. So this is the test whether I'm RH positive or RH negative, and this one's a control, it shouldn't react at all. So I've already rubbed my finger and cleaned it and washed it. And here I have a little poker, right? And I'm just going to twist that, pull it out, place my finger on the table and give it a poke. Now I've got to just kind of milk it, right? Ooh, that's a good one, I'm a bleeder today. So there's a nice big blood blob, and I'm gonna get one of these little sticks, get some blood on it, put it on there, and leave it for a second. Get another stick, put it on there, put it in the thing, leave it for a second. Get another stick, put it on there, leave it for a second. And then the control, get it on there, and leave it. Now I'm gonna put a little ooh, cotton ball on my finger and go get to get to smearing. So I want to smear these out so they cover the whole field. Good. Uh, this one. Sorry if I'm in the way of the camera. The director is yelling at me with her eyes. Smear the control. That was a good one. Oh, I colored outside the lines. Sorry. Sorry, teacher. And then lastly, that one. All right, so now what I gotta do is tip this card. So I'm gonna tip it up for about 10 seconds this way. Tip it down for about 10 seconds. Tip it right for about 10 seconds. I'm a little short, but I already know the answer, so I'm kind of cheating. And tip it left. Now, you don't see a whole lot. Let me sneak around over here and go like this. So what, what we're looking at here, and if I can just hold it like that, is that it doesn't look like much to, to anybody, but what I can tell is that there's no reaction. All the blood is still pooling and there's no noticeable speckling. So what this tells me is that all of these fields are about the same. See that control one? The control one has just kind of blood everywhere. I put the most blood in there, so it may look a little different. But notice that there's no uh, like clumps in any of these. So what that tells me is that the anti-A slot is a negative, the anti-B slot is a negative, the anti-RH slot, or D there, is a negative, and they're all the same as the control. So what that means is I'm negative for all three of these antigens, which means I don't have the A type, I don't have the B type, and I don't have the positive. So my blood type is O negative, which, as you may already know, is the universal donor. I don't have any antigens on my blood, therefore I can give blood to anybody because they won't react negatively to it. In the next video, my wife's going to do it and we'll see if we can get a reaction. Hold on. Uh, I think it's going. Yeah, it's going. Alright, so now we're going to do this blood type test with my wife. She's volunteered, so she's going to take the cap off of that poker thingy, twist to the, there you go. Now just put your finger, the target finger on the ground, and just push right through. Just one push. Just go push. Go ahead, push hard. Push. Push hard. There you go. Now get, get that milking. Good job, babe, I'm proud of you. Ooh, that's a good one. Now grab one of those stickies. Swirl it around on the A. Swirl it around, that's good, that's good. Same thing, oh careful, careful. She's doing great, look at that blood flow. All right, mm -hmm. looks good. 
All right, we're looking good. And now, yeah, yeah, we might want a little bit more blood on that one. Go ahead. That's that's okay. That do it that way. Put it on the control, and then do the A one. Not the A. Sorry, the D. You want one? The that one. Yeah, get a little bit more in there. Yeah. I'm gonna jump in here and start swirling a little bit. Now you can swirl also. Okay. Get it in there. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, we see already, right? I'll take this over. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tip it for 10 seconds this way. You guys can already see the difference. And then I'm gonna tip it for 10 seconds this way. I'm being kind of sparse with my 10 seconds, but there we go. We're zooming in, looking good. Tip it 10 seconds this way. But you can clearly see the difference between this video and the last video. Can you see that, Jay? Mm-hmm. So, Jay, what blood type are you based on these results? A negative. That is correct. So she has a reaction to the A uh, antigen, right, up there in the A spot. And, and there's nothing in the B, uh, D, or in the control, which we, we expected, right? N nothing out of the control. So let me just quickly bring in my old uh, my old card. Here it comes. Uh, there's mine. Now it's all kind of dried up because it's been a few minutes, but if you look at them together, uh, the that upper left corner of my wife's card on the left is clearly speckly. That process is called agglutination, and agglutination occurs when an antibody. Uh, targets an antigen, in this case the A antigen found on my wife's blood, and uh, causes this, the cells that have it to clump. So it clumps it up, and ultimately when we discuss the immune system, you'll see that that makes it easier for your body to uh, target uh, and remove uh, potential pathogens.